it's that time of year, end of season, and I'm gonna show you how I do winterization on a, C, a 2018 SeaDoo uh, RX-TX 300. So we're just gonna go through a routine um, a flush, run for a minute, and then uh, we'll shut everything down and we'll go from there. A T30 Torx bit with a 10 millimeter wrench to be able to take off the front two fasteners and then we should be able to use uh, just a regular bit for the remaining fasteners to remove the deck plate off the top of the engine that'll give us access uh, for the rest of the uh, rest of the winterization With our deck plate removed, now we're going to uh, remove the dipstick and then we're going to siphon the oil out of the engine. We're going to do an oil change, then replace the filter. After the oil is completed, then we're going to remove the coil packs. Uh, we'll take all the spark plugs out, we'll fog the engine, put in new plugs, and uh, redo all of our connections and clean things up. We're going to start the engine and rotate about five seconds. We're going to do that twice. When we pull the throttle all the way, that actually kills the fuel pump. So when we do this, no fuel is going to enter the engine and it also kills the ignition. So this is for actually for doing oil changes. It actually, it's for uh, blowing moisture out of the cylinders in an emergency. It'll allow us to get a little bit of extra oil out of the engine. All right. Next, we're going to move to an E10 star socket. Now, what I like to use is the bag that my oil uh, container came in uh, to catch the oil as I pull out the filter. And we'll use our vacuum pump to remove any residual oil inside of the filter housing. So we've got our old oil filter and our new oil filter with um, all the new o-rings we're going to use an o-ring pick to remove the old o-rings and a 13 millimeter wrench to remove the nut this is just a tool to, so that when you take the filter off the whole assembly comes out we're going to take that nut off while we hold back on the star uh, uh, socket Now we have a completed oil filter ready to get installed. Now we're going to torque the oil filter cap down to 85 inch pounds. Now we move on to filling up the engine with oil. So we removed about three and a half liters. And that's what we're going to put back in. Make sure your funnel is clean. What I like to use is a container that I can measure. So I'm gonna fill this up one liter at a time and then we're gonna add that to the engine. Okay, so we've completed our oil change. We removed oil, we added back in what we took out so we're gonna button this guy back up. We have a new filter installed. And uh, now we're gonna move on to uh, removing the coil packs and uh, changing out the spark plugs. We're gonna fog the engine. To remove the coil packs, we're gonna use a T30 to remove each of the retaining screws. And then we're gonna push these tabs back here. Push those down, slide the plug off, and these guys will pop out straight.
and we're going to remove this cover. That'll make it a little bit easier to get to the coil pack plugs. Coil packs are going to come straight out. And there's that. So before we go any further, we're going to gap our spark plugs. We're going to check them. Make sure we have the right ones. And then we're going to check our gap. 30. And we're also going to apply some never seize to the threads before we install these. And we're gonna keep that away from the electrode at the top. We're just gonna put some on the threads to make ease of removal and installation a little smoother. All right, before we take these uh, plugs out of the jet ski, next we're going to dry out the cooling system by injecting air into the flush port at 55 pounds of pressure. Now we're gonna remove the spark plugs. We're using a 5 8 inch uh, spark plug socket. We use a spark plug socket because that'll actually pick out the uh, spark plug. The, that has a rubber hose inside to grab the spark plug as we remove it. Now to do the fogging, we're gonna use a Sea-Doo XPS spray. We're gonna uh, spray for a couple seconds into each cylinder, and then we're gonna uh, full throttle we're going to start the engine, which kills fuel, kills ignition, and we're just going to circulate that uh, along the pistons and the cylinder walls for about two, three revolutions. Now we're going to cover the top of the spark plug holes with a rag because when we run the engine we don't want this to blow all over the engine compartment or the, the ski. I've covered the rag with just a, a socket arrangement just to hold that in place. Now we'll plug in full throttle And that's it. So now we've got our spark plugs ready and we're gonna install, reinstall all three spark plugs and then we're gonna torque. Now we're gonna torque the spark plugs to 150 inch pounds of torque. To reinstall the coil packs, we're gonna use dielectric grease on the area around the seal for the coil pack and also for the plug connections. This keeps the jet ski more watertight by sealing up these areas where the rubber seals against the valve cover. Now I've also reapplied dielectric grease to the rubber seal on the coil pack, um, and we're gonna install these one at a time. Just push these down, rotate, you can feel it click. Go ahead and plug in.
a little bit of a twist, make sure you have good connection. These are gonna get sealed up tight and we put our torque screws back in. Now our screws are gonna get torqued to 80 inch pounds. Now you do want to take a look around the engine compartment, clean things up, uh, make sure you don't see any leaks on hoses, etc. Um, now is your opportunity to catch those and um, that way you have all winter to make repairs if you see a problem. Um, so we're just going to do a light clean up inside the engine compartment. And uh, we've got our oil changed, we have our plugs changed, we have a filter changed. So uh, we're getting, getting pretty close to being done. Uh, we're going to give everything a light coat of uh, CRC 656. This, uh, this will appear wet. This will dry. And give us a little bit of extra protection for next season. Now we're going to use a 10 millimeter. We're going to disconnect the negative lead on the battery first. And we'll put this battery on trickle charge, smart charger through the winter. All right, now we'll put our cover back on, our engine cover. Just snaps down, tidy things up. And we're ready to reassemble, put the seat back on. We're going to reinstall our engine cover. Don't forget the first two bolts in the front. Those both had nuts that we have to hold back. I don't think you want to drop these nuts into the engine compartment, so take your time with these. We're going to give this a little bit of cleanup. Ultimate Black. This is really good for all the plastics on the jet ski. We'll give it that factory finish. So when we go to use this next year, it looks brand new. All right, this jet ski is winterized. We are ready for next year, next season. Cleaned up, we'll do a little bit more detail on the outside. Batteries disconnected, engine is fogged cooling system is completely dry and uh, next year we should have no problem uh, how to video on how to winterize a sea jet ski please stay tuned i've got uh quite a few more and uh and and while you're at it please subscribe